104.5, the team, you're home for New York sports. Andy Serling of Naira with us, which means the Preakness is tomorrow. Uh, Andy, let's let's get right into this. What do you think of the post position for these horses? Well, actually, I think, you know, it's funny about post position of the Preakness matters less than any post position in any race ever because they start the race at the top of the stretch, and it's not such a big field anyway with 10 horses that it's not going to really necessarily affect anybody from a positional standpoint. But actually, this one is very interesting for one aspect. The favorite always dreaming drew post four. His chief rival, Classic Empire, drew post five. And Classic Empire's job in this race, and Julian Lepper who rides him, is to never let always dreaming out of his sights and to basically try to be on him, I have to think, like the entire race. So the post position draw facilitates that for Classic Empire, and it could be to the detriment of always dreaming. If that's the case, then should always dreaming go off as even, maybe even a bigger favorite than that? No, I, I think that in general, Kentucky Derby's get, Derby winners get over bet for the rest of their careers. Because if there's one horse that people know about every year, it's who won the Kentucky Derby. If you know one horse, that's the one you know. So they're always over bet, and they're always over bet in the Preakness and Belmont Stakes. So always dreaming, I'm going to say, he's, he's, he is far and away the likeliest player of this race. I'm betting against him, but I don't have any problem acknowledging he's the likeliest player of the race. But he's probably closer to 40, 35, 40% to win you know, an 8-5 to five shot, let's say, and he's going to be about 4-5. to five. So to me, you have to bet against him. And as, a, as working for Naira, I'm rooting for him to win because it's very good for us to have a horse going for Triple Crown. So it's kind of a hedge for me. Andy Sterling with us of Naira. So let's let's get in. You know me. It's all about dollar and cents. I'm going to have my tablet with me all all Saturday. I'm going to be on uh, you know, NairaBets.com. What, uh, how do I make a little money on this Preakness? Well, here's what's going to happen, okay? Here's the dream scenario. The 10 Conquest Mo Money goes to lead. Always Dreaming and, 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 and Classic Empire are going to be his chief rivals right behind him. And Cloud Computing is going to be sitting in that very comfortable spot in fourth. And um, they're going to all engage at some point, and Cloud Computing is going to pass them all on the stretch. That's the perfect Andy Serling scenario for the Preakness. We're going to bet Cloud Computing to win. We'll use them in exactas with a little Conquest Mo money, but mostly Classic Empire. And we're going to try to make a bunch of money by throwing out Always Dreaming. You know, this is a 10-horse field, and I've heard talk about maybe they lessening the Kentucky Derby field. Does this give us a more, I guess I'd say, realistic view of who the best horses are in horse racing in 2017? Well, I mean, yeah, if there's, you could say if it's a smaller field, horses are less likely to get in trouble and get compromised during the running of the race, so it's less likely to hurt a favorite randomly. Um, the Kentucky Derby the last couple of years particularly have had very fair runnings where horses weren't dramatically affected I mean, yeah, the 20-horse field is cumbersome, and it, and it offers problems. But, you know, it, it's a tradition in Kentucky. They're never changing that. They get a lot of money as a betting because of the, pool, the field size. So the Derby's never going to be less than 20. Um, the Preakness is capped, I think, at 14. You know, 10's a good number. But you know, what happens is so many people skip the Preakness and wait for the Belmont Stakes these days. It actually makes it easier to have a triple crown hopeful because not that many horses will challenge the Kentucky Derby win. Andy Serling with us. And you're, you're going to the Preakness? I am. Look at you. You, you, just, you, got, that, you got the fever, right? You got to get out there and see it live. Uh, you know, I, I love going down to the Preakness. It's only three hours away from here. Um, you, you sort of escape from there. I'll be home tomorrow night before midnight. And, you know, it's an easy trip. I can take one day off, come back to Belmont on Sunday. It's, it's a great life. It's kind, of the way I feel, it's kind of the way I feel about uh, Saratoga. It's only about 40 minutes up the north way from my house. Uh, I feel like I'm in a whole other world, I, and, and that way I don't feel bad about uh, you know throwing back the beers and having my buddies drive me home. It's like I love you, the way you look at that quick jaunt to Preakness is the way I treat Saratoga almost every day during the summer. And every day is a key moment because the passes go on sale on Monday. Oh, is it already? Monday, uh, passes for the season. Well, uh, it's, $40 for a grandstand pass, 65 for the clubhouse at Stewart shops all over the area. Naira.com, you can buy it. It should be on Naira.com all the time. It should be your home page. <laughs> I assume it is. I'm not even asked. I just assume that Naira.com is your home page. But that season pass is great, right? Because that makes you come up every day. Absolutely. I mean, like I said, I, so usually, you know, I, somehow I've locked my way into a media pass. So I'll buy season passes for my buddies. And it's like, and they're, oh, man, I can't believe you'd spend this much on me. They don't know it's only 40 bucks. They, they don't pay attention to the key details. <laughs> I look like a hero, Andy. I could have your media pass pulled, so you have to buy it. Oh, I've already you know, bought it. You probably don't want to tell me it's like that. It's really kind of sneaky of you to get a media pass. Well, but I buy the season passes from my friends. 
Come on, I'm, I'm still doing the thing. <laughs> Andy, you know, you know that I reinvest that money I save on that 40 bucks anyway, right? I know you do. I know you do. Uh, Andy Shirley, man, we appreciate you. And, uh, and I'm hoping you're right because I'd love to make a little coin on Saturday. All right, let's hope we do. And, you know, if Cloud Computing wins, great. And if Always Dreaming wins, well, that's great for us. So it's all good. It's a great time of the year. It's a win-win situation. Thanks so much, Andy, and uh, safe travels down to Preakness and back. Thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.